There's more trickery in how racist, bigoted cops are trying to cover their steps. But we have exposed it. Here it is. This is a community we have highlighted before for racism. Let me take you to Jefferson Parish, all right? Now, law law enforcement agencies across the country, they have been called out for doing this. But this is really egregious in Louisiana. Of the 167 tickets, count that 167, issued by deputies to drivers with the last name Lopez over nearly six years, not one of the motorists was labeled as Hispanic. According to records provided by the Jefferson Parish Clerk of Court, the same was true of the 252 tickets issued to people with the last name Rodriguez, 234 named Martinez, 223 with the last name Hernandez, and 189 with the surname Garcia. Wow. So a publication looked into this, all right? They looked at the top 10 names of white people cited on the list, which represented about 1,800 stops total. Six of the top seven names were reported in the US Census Bureau surname tables as more than 90% likely to belong to people who did not identify as white. So why did this happen? What's really going on here? If everybody's white, there can't be any racial bias. That's what they're covering. So if they pull over and target and racially profile people of color, people that happen to be Hispanic, and instead of writing the ticket as it should be based on their nationality, writing it truthfully, being honest on their police report, they say, oh, white, white, white. And they can never be cited as long as you keep looking at the record. They can never be cited for targeting brown individuals in their communities. It has now been exposed. All right, uh, while Hispanic is an ethnicity, more than 80% of law enforcement agencies use it as a race when collecting information from drivers during traffic stops. Louisiana has a loophole that exempts law enforcement agencies from collecting and delivering data to the state if they have an anti-racial profiling policy in place. So here's what the state did through statute. The state said, um, you know, if you say you have an anti racial policy, then we will not require you to actually report true data, okay? Uh, To understand the impact of the state's unique policy, WWNO, WRKF and ProPublica looked at nearly six years of data on traffic citations issued by the New Orleans Police Department in the state's largest city by the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office and by the state police in Jefferson Parish. The data showed that of the almost 80,000 tickets that the Louisiana State Police handed out in Jefferson Parish over nearly six years, not a single one, not one was labeled Hispanic. Similar trend with Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office, they're all in it, all right? They're all doing this together, they're in cahoots, right? A previous investigation, by WWNO and WRKF and ProPublica found that more than 70% of the people Jefferson Parish deputies shot during the past eight years shot and shot at were black, more than double the black population. And 12 of the 16 people who died after being shot or restrained by deputies during that time were black men. So. Let me break this down on paper. On paper, Jefferson Parish's policy against racial profiling says, and I quote, it is unacceptable. But many in the Jefferson Parish's Hispanic community, they have accused this police department, this police department, this agency of doing exactly that for many years, targeting individuals who are not white for traffic stops, all right? Adrian, you see exactly what's happening here. You know exactly why they're doing it. It looks as if 
The reason why they have been caught is because they did it so extreme that is no way their data is accurate. Indeed, uh, their data seems to have a lot of holes in it. You know, it's they're taking advantage of essentially this loophole out there by uh, essentially pulling over people who are othered, who are maybe even classified as brown, but for some reason because of the census have to check that white box, or um, they're again avoiding the Hispanic box when it comes to the police actually reporting it. But we have to just realize that there are individuals out there who are being targeted because of their physical appearance, because they are not classified as traditional Western European white, so to speak. And the fact that the, the parish department is trying to avoid any kind of accountability when it comes to racially profiling or ethnically profiling people, it just speaks to the fact that they're not playing fair, but for a reason. And it's probably because they're targeting people who are non-traditional white.